Hi all, welcome back to Mathematics Online class. So we are going to study three types of fractions that is like fractions, unlike fractions and unit fraction. Actually what is like fractions? So simple, the fractions which has same denominator, the fractions which have same denominators are called like fractions. Look here, 3 by 8, 4 by 8, 2 by 8 and 6 by 8. Here all the fractions are same denominator. So the denominator which are same fraction, same denominators are called like fractions. So actually what will be the unlike fractions? The fractions which have different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 6 by 10, 2 by 5, 3 by 6, 4 by 12, like that here. All the denominators are different. So, this type of fractions are called unlike fractions. So, like fractions means the fractions which have same denominators are called like fractions. And unlike fractions means the fractions which have different denominators are called unlike fractions. Next one is unit fraction. Actually, unit fraction means the fraction which has numerator is 1. The Unity fractions means the fractions which has numerator is 1. This type of fractions are called the unit fraction. 1 by 3, 1 by 6, 1 by 8. Here look at the numerator. All the numerators are 1. This type of fractions are called the unit fraction. These are the three types of fractions. So like fractions means the denominators are same. Like denominators, same denominators. And unlike fractions means the denominators are different. And here unity fraction means the numerator is always 1. Clear. Next we are going to study the comparison of like fractions. We already studied in the last year comparison. Only this year you need to study about the like fractions only. Like fractions means whenever the denominators are same. So for example... 6 by 12 and 2 by 12. You need to con compare these two fractions. 6 by 12 and 2 by 12. How will you compare these fractions? Hmm? Yes, here the denominators are same. Here the denominators are same. You need to compare only the numerators. Here the denominators are same. You need to compare the numerator. Here the numerator is 6. Here the numerator is 2. So which is the greater numerator? 6 is the greater numerator. So 6 is the greater fraction. Understood? For example, if there is uh, 12 chocolates are there, if there is 12 chocolates, out of these 12 chocolates, 6 chocolates are given to my brother. Okay? There are 12 chocolates are there, out of these 12, 12, 6 chocolates are given to my brother. And the same 12 chocolates are given to, to my sister. Okay? From the two, 12 chocolates, I given 2 chocolates to my sister. So, who got the most number of chocolates? Uh, brother or sister? Yes, it is my brother got uh, more because 6 is greater than 2. Clear? Okay. Then, for example, another one example. 2 by 5 and uh, 1 by 5, which is the greater... Both denominators are same. So, you need to only look at the numerator. Here the 2 is greater. So, 2 by 5 is greater. Okay. Another example. If it is 24 by 50 and 42 by 50. So, simple now. Which one is the greater fraction? Yes. Both denominators are same. You need to look at the numerator only. Here 24 and here 42. Which is the greater? 42 is greater. Clear? So, this is so easy to compare the fractions. So, this same way you can write the descending and the ascending order. Okay. So, first we are doing ascending order one example. Ascending order means what? It is small to big. Okay. So, here for example, 6 by 10, 2 by 10, 4 by 10. 8 by 10. You need to arrange it is in ascending order. So all the denominators are same. So you only have to compare the numerators. So small to big. Which is the smallest numerator here. This 2 by 10 is the smallest one. So you can write it 2 by 10. You need to put the symbol also. 2 by 10. Next which one? 6, 4, 8. Other. Which one? 4 is the next one. So 4 by 10. Again. Next which one? 6. Isn't it? 6 by 10. Again last it is 8 by 10. 
So this way it is so easy to arrange in ascending order. The same way you can arrange in descending order also. Descending order means what it is? Big to small. Okay. Descending order. Descending order means it is big to small. Okay. For example, if it is 24 by 30, 18 by 30, 21 by 30, 6 by 30, 11 by 30. How will you arrange in descending order? Descending order means the biggest to small. So which is the biggest one? Hmm? All the denominators are same. You only look at the numerator. Yes, 24 is the biggest one. 24 by 30. Okay, you need to put the greater than symbol also. Next, 18, 21, 6, 11. Which is that? 21. Okay, so 21 by 30. Next, 18, 6, 11. Yes, 18. 18 by 30. 30. Next, 6 and 11. Which one is greater? 11. Okay. 11 by 30. And the last one is 6 by 30. So, it is so easy. You know? It is so easy. Only look at the above. That is numerator. You need to check and compare the numerator. And you can arrange it is very easily in the form of ascending and descending order. Okay. Then, next we are going to study a new thing that we didn't study last year. That is, we are going to study three types of fractions. Okay. Three types of fractions. Which are the three types of fractions? So simple. The first type is proper fraction. The first type is proper fraction that we are using. Okay, proper fraction means that we are using. Now we wrote so many fractions on no? the old fractions are proper fraction. So what is the speciality of proper fraction? Proper fractions means the numerator is small and the denominator is big. Look here the example 2 by 6. 2 is the numerator, 6 is the denominator. 2 is the, 2 is very small and the 6 is big. So every time in the case of proper fraction, numerator is the small and the denominator is big. And it is less than 1. It, every time it will be less than 1. Less than 1 means, for example, I am drawing a picture here. Okay, listen. Okay, so here, okay, here I am uh, make it 2 by 6. It is actually, it is 2 by 6. Okay, how it become full? It is only 2 part of this whole, is it? It is only 2 part of this whole. So, it is less than 1. How it become 1? Whenever we need to get to 1, the full 6 unit, 6 by 6 only it will become 1, isn't it? So, it is every time the proper fraction should be less than 1. Okay, so here look. It is 2 by 6 means 2 out of 6 equal part. How it become 1? Whenever it become 1, that means full we need to share. 6 by 6, then only it become 1. So every time proper fraction should be less than 1. And when the numerator becomes small and the denominator becomes greater. Okay, then second type of fraction is improper fraction. It is improper fraction. Okay, what do you mean by improper fraction? Improper fraction means it is numerator is big and denominator is small. Numerator is big and denominator is small. It is greater than 1. It is greater than or equal to 1. It is greater than 1 or equal to 1. For example, I will show. We need to find out a 7 by 3. We need to write a 7 by 3. How will you represent a 7 by 3? In, like... Okay, listen, it is, okay, 3 by 3, okay, here I shaded all the parts, now it become 3 by 3, and again, it is again 3 by 3, and I shaded one by part, 1 by 3, so it is 3 plus 3 plus, okay, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 1, it is okay, total, it is 7 by 3, okay. So it is not uh, uh, less than 1, it is greater than 1, okay. Greater than 1 means uh, this is full, this is also full. So 2 full and uh, 1, 1 by 3 also, so got it, so it is greater than or equal to 1. So improper fraction means every time it should be greater than 1 and uh, it is Numerator is every time big and denominator is small. That you have to keep it in mind. Whenever you are seeing a fraction, if the fraction, is, the numerator is greater and the denominator is small, that means it is an improper fraction. Then third type of fraction is 
mixed fraction. Third type of fraction is mixed fraction. Mixed fraction means it will be a whole number and one proper fraction. Whole number and proper fraction. Okay. How we can uh, draw the picture? One whole. Okay. It's a whole. One whole and one proper fraction also. Okay. So, one and two by four. So, this is the mixer fraction. So, these are the three types of fraction. Once again, I am going to explain three types of fraction. The first type is proper fraction. Proper fraction means numerator is small and the denominator is greater than. And it became every time it is less than 1. Okay, that means here look at the picture. We can understand that very clearly. It is 2 part out of 6 equal parts. Okay, that become uh, it is less than 1. 1 means it is less than full. Okay, when it become full by whenever the all the 6 parts are shaded then only become 6 by 6 1 but it is 2 by 6 means less than 1 next is improper fraction improper fraction means every time the numerator is greater and the denominator is small that is 7 by 3 7 is greater 3 is small that it is greater than 1 or equal to 1 look here 7 by 3 how can we represent look the picture that means 3 by 3 1, then again 3 by 3, then again 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 by 3. So, here 2 full are there. Okay. So, it is greater than 1. 2 full picture is there. That means it is greater than 1. And the last one, third one is mixed fraction. Mixed fraction means 1 whole number and 1 proper fraction. So, 1 whole and one proper fraction. So these are the three types of fractions and the next video we will study how to convert the proper into mixed, uh, improper into mixed and mixed into improper. We will study in the next video. Okay, so before that for the live session you need to watch the video very carefully and I will give some homework also. Uh, after this video, I will uh, say what, what are the homeworks also. You need to complete the homeworks and want to so attend the live session. We will discuss all the answers in the live session. I think you understood this one. So watch the video very carefully and find out the answers of the homework. So thank you and